love it. I love it when you say that. Uh, we're back in Wales. And when we went through Wales last year, a lot of people said to us, oh, you should get like, they called it the Gerald, the dining train. Yeah, they said go and say hello to Gerald. It runs between Hollyhead and Cardiff in the morning, Cardiff to Hollyhead in the evening. We always put it on our sort of bucket list of train journeys to do. I'm really excited. We spoke to Arriva Wales and they yeah. went, sure, come along. Come on down. So do you want to go and ride the posh train to Hollyhead and have dinner? I've never had dinner on a train before, like proper dinner. Yeah. Let's do it. So a little bit of full disclosure. We just basically said, can we get on your train? And they went, sure, <laughs> get us tickets. Uh, but we're just gonna ride it and uh, see what happens. And eat food. That's, <laughs> that's what I'm excited Vicky, about. The food. Vicky needs food. <laughs> also, I have no idea what type of train it's gonna be. You know how I don't write down Is numbers. Is it a pacer? It, it won't be a pacer all the, way, all the way to Hollyhead. It's a proper train with, a, a, with a proper door and proper, proper. It doesn't move, but, but proper sliding really windows. Stiff Is it stiff? Sorry, <laughs> Gary. Don't don't say that out of context. People will get the wrong idea. We're, we're moving. Are we leaving at Chester? Another guard will take over and take you up along the North Wales coast towards Hollyhead. We're, we're getting out of At the mode. rear of the train today, you'll find the buffet car. They've got hot drinks, cold drinks, snacks, and delicious cooked evening meals. Uh, and since it's Friday and we've all finished work, uh, they sell alcohol as well. Mm. By all means, make your way along to the window, make a purchase. Alternatively, you can upgrade to a business class seat where the meal is included. This is the menu. I feel like I have to go for the main course that has the Welsh rare bit and you can't not come to Wales and try some traditional Welsh food. Um, is it in Welsh? So it's, it's, it's bilingual. So you've got English and Welsh, but don't get me to say in Welsh. What's interesting on the front uh, and back is that they, in the pictures, they've kind of showed the journey that it takes. So you've got images across your journey. Starting in Hollyhead, going through, and then obviously this is the, um, the bay in Cardiff. I would say it's a nice menu, and you've got a nice little placemat and the serviette, and then and then double knife and fork. Presumably, that's how you know it's posh. That is how you know it's posh. <laughs> the rule is you start from the outside and work in, right? But but what if I do this? <laughs> do you know where I learned that? Where, you learned that at Buckingham Palace. No, watching Pretty Woman. <laughs> Quite quickly, quicker than I expected. Um, the starters have turned up. Now, but the thing is, I learned from many years ago that I was a wedding photographer, and there's one thing I learned is that really bad photos at wedding are those of people eating their food. It, it's almost impossible to make a good video of somebody eating food, because nobody really wants to see food being shoveled into someone's mouth. So, here's a shot of the outside whilst I eat my starter. <laughs> employs two full-time chefs and six premier hosts. The chefs cook everything from scratch, nothing is pre-prepared, and they make it all on the train, and basically Michelin star service on a traveling buffet. Everything is either Welsh produce or Welsh themed, so you'll have like Glamorganshire crab, you'll have Welsh rack of lamb, you'll have um, a Welsh cowl, Welsh rabbit. Everything is Welsh, Welsh themed, and Welsh sourced, which is what is, um, part of the thing that we're trying to promote on this train. Chefs work a week on, week off, 
and the hostesses all live in Hollyhead and work down. Then they have, there's a break room they've got down in Canton for roughly six hours a day and then they work back. The reason we do it that way is because of the logistics, because otherwise you'd have to have someone from Cardiff going up some for the evening shift, but then you couldn't get them back to Cardiff because obviously the journey is a five hour journey. We've got people chomping at the bit to come and work on you. Do you want to do something really coupley? Do you want to not just try a bit of each other's food? Do you want to do that thing where, like, what couples do is that they swap plates? So I was just being told no. <laughs> How was it? That was amazing. Be, be honest, if you were leaving a trip advisor, at yeah. you, what, what would you say? Well, where are we, by the way? Five blobs. <laughs> <laughs> They're blobs, they're not stars, are they? Equivalent. It was really good. The fish was really nice. Cooked really nice. The sauce was great. It was all really good. I'm not, I don't have the words. <laughs> I don't have the right words. It was delicious. How was yours? Delicious. How was your sausage? I know it's not part of the dining experience. I'm just compelled to get out of the train every time. Mainly because I get to manually... It, I'm gonna... When this goes, when this is no longer possible because they're all units, I will miss that. The handle, the slam, the window. It's the best. When we planned this a few weeks ago, we spoke to the very nice social media team at a Ways, and then a couple of days beforehand, they said, oh, by the way, when you get on the train, our managing director is going to be on the train. So, quite by fluke, because you're not here deliberately. To no, absolutely, design, no, very much so. No, I'm here with someone else. This is uh, Tom Joyner, and you are the managing director of a Ways. Oh, Good evening. Enjoying the Gerald straight away. Do you know why it's called the Gerald? Yeah, it's after Gerald of Wales. Could you? Could you? I'm well, he was a friar. He was a. Um, he was a, a well-known cleric. Some, I think, something like 12th century. Okay. For me, I love it because it's. It has the essence of a proper train. It's a loco. It's a fantastic train. What, why? Why do you love it? Um, <laughs> fantastic food, all cooked from fresh. Yes. Uh, all Welsh produce. We've got a chef who makes it daily. We've got some fantastic uh, colleagues who yes sort of do a fantastic job here. And you get to see some of the most beautiful parts of the United Kingdom. What else? What else would you want? Uh, so whilst we were chatting, our dessert arrived. So I I went for the apple pie. So, which is... You said never film people eating and now you're filming me eating. So there's a regular buffet area, so the, the business zone, the business buffet area uh, is up that end. And then there's the buffet. This reminds me of one of my favourite trains, although maybe this will become my new favourite train. But one of my favourite journeys right now is the Class 90 out of London Liverpool Street, out of Norwich, where you get a similar thing, where there's a buffet and then they don't bring you food in first class. But it's that same. I like walking up to a buffet, I like that. And down here is standard class. But even standard class is nice. Nice seats, table, power socket. <laughs> you not checking my ticket? I'm not checking my ticket. And the sun is slowly setting. We're still on the train. It's uh, 20 to 8. Sun's fading. I've been given tea and coffee and gin. Yep. Cheers. 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 Which <laughs> one? Cheers. Cheers. Thanks. I mean, it's good. Like, it, let's clearly Arriva have looked after us but it's, it's good. <laughs> we're five minutes down, Gary. We're, we're, what happened to, we're, we're late, the, the train's late. Can um, I get a, a, a delay repay off of you? Do you personally hand out cash um, for every minute that we're late? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> Based on how it's much fine. I think 50p? Yeah, 50p right there. <laughs> I haven't prepped going for this, I have no idea if he's up for it. I think he'll be up for it. 
out, out of all the is Gareth. Out of all the services you do, yes. So you do across to Upper Risworth, you do up to Crewe and Chester, you do down to Cardiff and Birmingham. And Birmingham. Is this one of your favourite turns? Shift? What do you yes, call it? I love the shift. Um, Tell us why you love the gerbils. Um, it's just different from everything else we use. You have to make sure that your wits are about you. You have to concentrate. Um, you've got the first class, which brings a, a different breed of character, really. You have, you, have, you, have, you have first class on the 158, don't you? No, no, no. Hang on, is this the only Ariva? This is the only Ariva service that has a one as first class. Well, I should point out, it's, it's, business, it's, class, it's business, business class. Hang on, I didn't think about that. All other Ariva trains are standard class only. Yes. And suddenly... Oh, yes. It's just the two of us. <laughs> I'm going to drink my coffee before it gets cold. I've got I've got a wine, a gin, and a tea. To a drink. wine, a gin, and a tea. <laughs> All the drinks. That was so much fun. All the drinks. How much longer have we Sounds got? Sounds good. Made it to Flandino Junction. Let me get the name down your guard. Oh, we're at Flandino, Flandino, Flan, Flan. We've been here before many a time. Uh, let's see the train out and we'll, uh, we should sit and uh, ponder, ponder our, our thoughts. What are there? <laughs> I don't know, good evening. Not good evening <laughs> in Welsh. We're at... Uh, Flandedno Junction. Flandedno Junction. I just want to say, really comfortable seats. <laughs> Love the fact that it's a proper train. And also, in good company and also with fine dining, the time flew by and we've been on a train for... It felt like... It felt like an hour. Four and a half hours and it felt like an hour. Yeah, yeah. Over to Vicky to tell you what she thought of the food. <laughs> It was genuinely, and it's really difficult because, you know, clearly, Ariba invited clearly us to Clearly Ariba had to be here, you know, and, we're not um, making a secret of that, yeah, so... But yeah. it was genuinely so good. Like, it was delicious food. Um, everything was delicious. And I really like that they have tried to get in lots of Welsh yep. produce as well. Yep. It's really nice when you go somewhere different to get like locally sourced stuff, which is really, really cool. It was just amazing. We've put out a few tweets about this. Our yep. friend Martin, that some of you may know, has replied saying, oh, I've always wanted to like come and do this. And Martin, you should. And the point is, so should everybody else. This is like one of those sort of unique railway experiences of which there's only a few left of in Britain, like the, like the sleeper, it's one of them like everyone should do the sleeper. It's nice, it's a nice, it it's, a, nice. it's a great experience. Nice. Okay, so we're in Wales for the weekend. I want some more apple pie, <laughs> oh, it's so good. And uh, you're gonna go that way, am I going that way? Oh, I'm going that way. Okay, bye. Bye. See ya. We should probably stop now. <laughs>